Hello, I'm Paul Stryer, and welcome to the SD-WAN Self-Hosted Lab Build Video Series. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at what software you will need to download and where to get the software from. The controllers can be hosted in the cloud or they can be hosted on-prem. As stated in the previous video, we are going to build a Cisco SD-WAN lab and we are going to self-host the controllers on-prem. This means you will need to have access to the download files on Cisco.com. If you don't have this access, you will have to acquire access to Cisco.com before continuing this video series. So with no further ado, let's get into building the lab. The first thing you need to do is open a browser and go to Cisco.com. Now when you're at Cisco.com, you can click on software download on that blue bar across the bottom, or you can click the three lines in the upper left hand corner to open the menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the menu and open it up, and I'm gonna go to software. Once I'm at the software download page, I can go to the right hand side in the search window and I can type in SD-WAN or SD-WAN and search on that. Notice that I'll get a bunch of things, but one of them will say SD-WAN. Go ahead and click on the SD-WAN that is in the list all by itself. So first of all, notice in the breadcrumbs it says downloads, home, routers, software defined WAN, SD-WAN, and then forward slash SD-WAN. And then notice that there are six items in the list as of today. We need the bottom three items. So we need the vEdge Cloud, the vManage software, and the vSmart software. We're going to start off by going to the vManage software. So go ahead and click on vManage software. So notice when you get in here, the latest version is 19.2.097 and if you look this version came out on September 22nd of 2019 which is about when I created the raw footage of the video for this video series. Today is November 13th and I'm looking at the website right now and it says that the latest version is 19.2.0.99 and that came out yesterday. So today is November 13th 2019 192099 came out on November 12th, 2019. We're going to continue this video series with 192097 so that later in the video series I can teach you how to upgrade and at that point we'll either go to 192.099 or whatever the latest version is on that day. The next thing to notice is that there are three images available for download. One is for Microsoft Azure the other one is for KVM, and the top one is for VMware. We're going to go ahead and download the version for VMware, because that is what I'm using in the lab. On the right-hand side of the VMware file, I'm going to click the down arrow to download that software. Then I'm going to accept the license agreement. Remember, every browser does the download slightly different. I'm using Firefox, so I have to accept it, and it goes into the little arrow in the upper, hand, upper right hand corner. And then, of course, you can see that it's downloading right now. And if I was in Chrome, I'd see a little window pop up in the lower left of my browser, and I could watch it right from there downloading. So instead of waiting for this file to download, I'm going to go ahead and just close the download window and I'm going to let it download in the background while we move on to the next file. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the back button to go back to the previous window. Then I'm going to click on vSmart software and notice that I'm going to download the 19.2.097 software. You want to get matching software for all three of your devices. I'm going to go to the one to the VMware one, click the down arrow as we did before, accept the license, and that'll go into my downloads again. And again, different browsers download in different ways. So while those two download, I'm going to click the back button and come back to this page. Now the next thing we need is the vEdge Cloud. Now this might be a little bit confusing because at first it confused me too because I was looking for a vBond file. But there is no vBond file. The vCloud is also going to be used as vBond. So the vCloud file can create vEdge devices for us and it can also create our vBond. 
So go ahead and click on vEdge Cloud, and we'll use this file a couple of times to make a couple of different VMs. So again, I want to get the same version of software, 19.2.0.97, and then I want to go next to the VMware one and click the down arrow, accept the license, and then click OK to save this file. And again, this is for Firefox, and again, it will be different in each browser. And then I have all three of these images downloading at this time. But I'm going to hit the back button, and we're going to go find one more file. But instead of stopping here where we did the last two times, I'm going to hit the back arrow again one more time to go back one more level to that SD-WAN level that we started at. Now in here, I'm going to do CSR because I want to download a CSR and do a C edge in my network topology as well as the V edges so I can show both in my topology. So go ahead and click on CSR 1000 V and once we get in here, we're going to take the latest uh, version, which is 16.12.1D, and I'm looking for the OVA file, and that happens to be the third one down from the top because we're building on VMware, so we need the OVA version. So I'm going to click the down arrow next to the OVA version, and then I'll click accept the license agreement again, and for Firefox, I'll click OK when the pop-up comes up on the screen, and of course, different browsers again do different things. So now I should have all four files downloading to my desktop. Thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you for future videos. This is Paul Stryer. Have a good day.